Welcome everyone back to RimWorld! So to kick off today, we are going to be renaming Boroslav. Boroslav's new name, I'm just going to copy and paste it in, is Slavic Dimitriv. Dim Dimitriv? I don't know how to say that. Um, but if you guys have any name requests, please leave them in the comments down below. I will most likely add you to the game. But as for goals of today, I'm... I've been thinking, and I think the main goal that I would like to do today is if raiders attack, and you know, n not a bunch of insects or mechanoids, ideally I would like to capture a crafter, because right now only Tiger is good at crafting if we go to her fabricating skill. As you can see, she is 10 out of 20, and the, be the second best one is Toby with a 5 out of 20, so... We only have one good crafter, and one crafter who can smelt our resource crops down into actual usable materials. And that's a little bit of a problem, because it's going to take forever if one person does it. Ideally, I would also like to get some better armor and weapons, maybe like a standardized set of gear. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, that, that's kind of the main goals for today. A standardized set of equipment, and hopefully a new crafter or two. So our first tax cycle of the day has arrived, and we actually got 189 Athenium. So this is from, it's a material added by SciTech, which is a, it's a mod similar to, it's pretty much a competitor to Royalty's Psy, Psychic System. Except it, you put yourself in like a pod, and you can like, mediate yourself, and you can select your psychic powers, it's really cool. Um... But Athenium is a bizarre crystalline material capable of interacting with psychic waves. And you can use it to create psychically active equipment and devices. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty hard to make, but it's also worth quite a bit. As you can see here, each one is worth 20. And guys, I actually managed to do it. Uh, I managed to get the central climate control mod working. And I'll, I'll just explain how this works. So you have your intake fans. They pull air into the network. And then you use this air thermal, not very well named, um, and you set the target temperature for each air network. And you can create three different air networks. You can have blue, red, and cyan. So right now I'm using red for the cooling room, which in hindsight isn't the best color, but whatever. So you set your target temperature here, so plus minus 18 and 2. So you do all that. As you can see here, it's converting 63, the intake temperature, to negative 6. So then that pumps all through here. Let's pull this up. Build the... No. There we go. So as you can see, it goes all the way through the wall. Comes through here. Connects here. And it connects this surround air vent. I'm not sure how to use the wall air vent small and the normal wall air vent. But I figured out that this surround air vent works pretty well. So I think an immortal animal, and a fairly high level one at that, just fell from the sky. Um, an animal transport pod literally just crashed, and the cat healed while in orbit. Um, so I'm sending, that's what I'm sending Tiger out right now. Just to go and see what they have, really. You take that way, the, uh, there's perfectly fine doors over here. Alright, I'm gonna start firing on the cat. Oh, maybe, maybe it's not an immortal. Um, let's see here. It's probably not an immortal, but still, I've never seen an animal instantly heal. Uh, nope, totally not an immortal. It just fell from the sky completely fine. That, that's really weird. So we have an interesting person here. In a Sims, she just fell in a transport pod. She's got five construction with a minor pass in. 7 mining with a minor passion, 7 cooking with a double passion, so she could become a cooker, but the big thing here is her crafting, she has a 7 crafting with a minor passion, and her traits are really good as well, raw count, uh, actually maybe that's not as great, um, minus 20% global work speed kinda sucks, cannibal is always really good, and she has the savant trait, plus 4 artistic, plus 4 crafting, plus 4 intellectual, plus 80% global learning factor, but minus 60% global work speed. So if we cumulative stack raw count as Savant, she's going to be working at minus 80% global work speed, but she can also hit crafting levels very quickly because Savant gives plus 80% global learning. So she'll learn 
at around the pace of a burning passion person. Actually over the rate of a burning passion person. Well, I'll run out there and try and save her. I don't think we will be able to save her, unfortunately. She is pretty much all the way across the map, as you can see. And she is pretty... Oh, she also has a Luciferium need. So, uh, never mind. So we have a raid from the Blue Moon Corporation. Unfortunately, on this one, I think we are going to have to call in our settlement. Just because I am not at all confident of beating them. Simply because of their armor. So, what are we looking at here? Ooh, okay, so... Modifying Steam Tech Gauss Lance. Oh my, wow, okay. So one has a rocket launcher. One has a bullpup DMR, that's kind of like a sniper rifle, I guess. Three, it looks like four of them have a Gauss Lance. One of them has a rail gun. One of them just has an, how many have an ice pick? It looks like just one of them has an ice pick. And one of them has a Mac rifle. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to be calling in our settlement here. And by settlement, I mean a spale. So since you guys last saw a spale, it has ranked up one more time. It is now a level settle, level 7 settlement, so pretty, pretty insane. It also earns around 5,000 silver per cycle, so that's pretty crazy. But let's call it in. Military. Order. There we go. It is available. I made sure. So, let's set the squad, espale, and deploy the squad. Um, let's see, are they attacking immediately? They are. I think we deploy around this side. Okay, they're landing. And then we move them. Come on, I gotta wait for them to land. Alright, there we go. And then we move, or don't. Come on, move. Oh yeah, I have to select it, that would make sense. And then we're going to move them right there. Okay, it looks like we they are going to start fighting. Okay, attack. Oh no. Oh no. No, guys. Guys. Okay. Thankfully, they did notice <laughs> our friends. Because otherwise, we would have been in some pretty, pretty deep, deep, big stuff. Not, not very nice stuff. Friendly fire there. Okay. It looks like two of them are charging no matter what. Tiger, um, <laughs> has nothing on him. Uh, major break risk, wonderful. Thank you for having a major break risk. And it looks like JP is coming in as well. He's got a Gauss Lance. What is his gear looking like? Uh, steel armor vest, so we should be able to hurt him. He's got a smoke pop pack. Okay, I think we can take this guy down. Ooh, okay, so there's some pretty decent gear over here. Uh, Space Attack Backpack. <gasps> Power Armor. Uh, what's his health looking like? He's got a Synthetic Liver and a Blue Moon Combat Boosters. It looks like our people are winning pretty handily, actually. These Plasma Piercers are just insane. Okay. It looks like Tiger is going to get here soon. What are they doing? Uh, move over here, please. Just sending them to intercept. Yoshi is down. He dropped his railgun. This bullpup DMR we can use. Because it is industrial tech. Alright. Let's go back. Okay, it looks like Tiger is about to hit us. Of course, Fred deciding to destroy my wind turbines. Thank you, Fred. Um, <laughs> goodbye, Tiger. Tiger is fully, pretty much dead. Okay, they are now fleeing. Uh, I'm gonna send our allies to cut them off on the way out, and I'm gonna send Tiger out immediately to strip this guy's armor. So we have, j I've just wandered around and cleaned up all of the people. Everyone who was beheaded wasn't immortal. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get Tiger to the next level of immortal, but she is getting pretty close, 6.1 now. Any, pretty much one of the next immortals she kills will, she will become a ne the next level of immortal. But I'm leaving Yoshi here. Actually, wait, that was the guy I wanted to capture. Never mind, we're not gonna leave Yoshi there. I thought I had already captured him. That's my bad. Actually, I think there's someone on the way right now. But from the, from this loot, we got some pretty incredible stuff. First off, we got the Spacer Tech Cooling Power Armor, which Spacer Tech Cooling isn't very good, but the Power Armor itself is a very, very good. It's got a 23 millimeter RHA protection 
We also got two protectorate helmets, as you can see here. And both are infused, I believe. So if we check uh, details, there we go. The other one is glitter tech cooling, and this one is actually feather light, so an extra 6% movement speed. So that was the big stuff. We also got stuff like power armor gloves and a bunch of rail guns. We can actually use this bullpup DMR, and one of them had a charge LMG that I gave to Tiger. And I am harvesting their organs because that's what any normal person would do. I'm taking Yoshi's arm. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, not his arm, his eye. He's got an advanced bionic eye. And the other guy who just died had a synthetic liver. So that's what I'll be doing. There we go, remove part eye. And congratulations, Mr. Marcus. Go steal this man's eye. So I've sorted through all of the items we got from that Blue Mort Corporation. And it's actually a few days later now. Oh, well, there's an exotic goods trader. Um, but we now have four people who are very heavily armored. If we go Marcus Emerald, let's go to there. I believe it's under health? Maybe it's not. It's under gear. There we go. Um, so Marcus Emerald has 20.46 or 20.46 mm RHA armor. Howie has 20.41 RHA armor. Clyde has 22.7, so he's the highest of them all. And Tiger has 18, but he's also on a, she's also immortal, so you know she's not gonna have much problem surviving. What do you have? This person, okay, so Toby has around eight millimeter RHA, which is pretty decent. She's got the, I think that's a, yeah, it is a he. So he has the power armor gloves and the steel vest. I don't think Slavic has anything. Oh, he does, okay. So he's only got seven, but that's still better than most people. And Slick has <laughs> Slick has a shotgun with 5.2, uh, yeah, 5.52 RHA armor. In the meantime, while I've been sorting through all that, we've actually built up our restrooms now. So each person has their own tub. They have their own tub. They have their own shower, their own basin, and their own toilet. So that should keep them happy. I'm also making upgrades to the oh actually uh, I might need to move the dartboard but I am making upgrades to the rec room as you can see I've moved quite a few statues in here just because Toby and Slick are acidic so they get upset if their bedroom is good I know that's a weird thing to be upset about we've also mined out the prisons so I've also been working on that as you can see they also have a shower Ba uh, toilet and basin. I just gotta kind of connect that up to the grid and then uh, we'll have a fully operational prison. So I'm trading with the exotic goods trader from our settlement and they have, they have a few things. I've bought all of their advanced components and normal components because we kind of need them. I'm not gonna buy the jump packs tech print. I'll buy it later if we actually really need it. We don't really need it right now. Um, I might actually buy this skill trainer. They do have quite a few bionics. They have like, what is this Cortex Augmentator? Whoa! <laughs> plus 50% learning factor, plus 30% global work speed. That's pretty incredible. And then plus 15% medical surgery success chance. Negotiating ability, social impact, consciousness. Um, oh, <laughs> it's so expensive. Um, I don't care. We're going to buy that and we're going to install it in the Tiger. Maybe Tiger should become our uh, mech project. We started one last series, but we didn't really get super far into that. Um, we got to sell some gold off. So let's sell uh, 500 gold. Uh, it's still not enough to pay for that. 600 gold. Maybe you want 700 gold. There we go. I We've been getting a lot of gold from our mining settlement, so I'm kind of fine selling that off. And I think that's all we want. They have an isolinear processor from the med pods. Ooh, it's a key component in the med pods. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'll buy one, uh, 393, and then I'll just sell, sell a little bit more gold for that. Alright, I'm happy with that trade. So this is really quite odd. Um, I've been messing with the Cortex Augmentator, as well as this Advanced Bionic Eye that we ripped from that guy earlier. I think his name was like Yoshi or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember his name, but I've been pulling, I pulled it off the shelves, because I couldn't access it, like, we can't install it into Tiger. What about you, Clyde? Can we install it into you? 
We can't. This is so weird. Um, do we have a doctor? We do have a surgeon. Okay. <laughs> Why can't we install this? So I just did a little bit of research and I have a little bit of <laughs> bad news. Apparently, Raw's Bionics actually gates um, Bionics, which actually, in hindsight, does make sense. Um, so we can't actually install this into uh, Mr. Tiger or Mrs. Tiger unless we unlock it in the research tree. Um, Cortex. Oh, it's under neuroscience, which is a spacer technology. So I think for defensive turrets and more defensive measures around our kill box slash entrance, um, I think we're going to use Rheumatomics this time. Last, uh, last series we briefly touched into Rheumatomics only using it for power generation, but there's so much more you can do with it. They have like defensive turrets, cool weaponry, there's even like, I think they have their own like space shields, like you can block drop pods from falling. So all that stuff is really, really cool. And I just think we should probably check it out because I've seen, like, I've watched a few videos about, you know, some of Rimatomic's defensive turrets, and they are insane. So I definitely want to check them out. So I think that uh, we are researching Rimatomic's, yeah, after hydroponics and this mechanic cabinet. So after that, we can get into Rimatomic's maybe today, I don't know. Um, and then. That's also going to be our power solution because we are kind of running low on power right now. We're running off of four wind turbines and two solar generators. So we, we kind of need a, a little bit more of a permanent power solution. So I figured that while we are doing nothing right now, we might as well... I might as well show off another feature of the, um, of the Empire mod. It's, it's, it's a really cool mod, pretty in-depth. I'm just kind of looking around at Union of Banastra. Who are they? Uh, let's check the factions tab. Union of Banastra. They don't sound very dangerous. So Union of Banastra is tribals. Slash medieval. So we should be able to take these guys pretty easily. But we, we, what we can do is that we can send one of our militaries to go raid one of theirs. So let's send that raid settlement. And let's send Hing after them, and then we'll get some of the loot that they get from Saroy and the Union of Banastra. So our raid loot is here. Um, I believe it is randomized via loot tables, so keep in mind that um, it could pretty much be anything, and it should be at our tax spot. <laughs> what? We got 452 silver flower petals, a fermenting tank... And a machining table. <laughs> um, I think this is... Okay, so this is fully automated fermenting. I guess that's kind of cool, but... <laughs> we got a machining table as well. So we have some insects to deal with. Um, I've immediately marshaled our people up because otherwise... They're gonna destroy my wind turbines yet again. And I am tired of them destroying my turbines, to be honest. Seriously, they've been destroyed like four times today. It's 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 really quite annoying. I we actually had a meteor shower destroy them at the beginning of the episode. I just thought that wasn't very nice of the game to do that. Um, why haven't they spawned yet? Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess I should aggro them. I'm gonna keep these doors held open just in case. Good job, tiger. Okay, and open fire. As soon as he fires, there should. B oh oh my game <laughs> oh no <laughs> um 12 mega spiders 22 mega scarabs and how many spellipedes 16 spellipedes um yeah let's not hold those doors open <laughs> um run run uh everyone get to get to the walls um no Get to the embrasures. Hopefully, what the heck are they doing? Oh, my game doesn't like this. Of course, they're gonna walk around and destroy all my crap. Thank you, game. Haha. -ha. Big funny. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna call in the military. I don't even care. Uh, order fire support. Artillery. Oh, that that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe we should build a military settlement. All right. Um, I'm gonna deploy deploy a Spale squad right about there. 
And I am not dealing with freaking insects. I've dealt with them so many times in the past few episodes, I'm sick of insects. There we go, kill them all please. Look at them, they're slaughtering them. Good job guys. Uh, you can go away slick. Yeah, see they just focus. They just focus my freaking wind turbines, it sucks. But look at these guys, they're like destroying the insects. No problems at all. Well, <laughs> maybe they're having a few problems. Or at least they're going to once these guys close the distance. Do we have any... Okay, we do have a few coming towards us. Ooh, we actually have a decent portion. We should be able to destroy these guys. Um, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Alright, how are these guys doing? Okay, they've completely exterminated the bugs. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're dealing with the ship chunks now. As you can see, we can deal with these guys pretty easily. Yeah, it looks like there's just two spellipi- Oh, wow! Another wave spawn, I think. Okay! <laughs> we're just gotta behead these guys after to make sure they're not immortal. Hunter Lax Ranger up in, okay. There we go, there's one more Mega Spider coming in. These guys are actually doing really, really well. Um, I expected to do them a little bit worse because their weapons are very armor-piercing. And that's honestly about it. They're shooting the horse! They shot the horse! <laughs> they're shooting the horses! Oh no! And then there's just a few larvae there. Alright. So I'm gonna kill this last mega spider and then we can go deal with those ship chunks. Alright, so with the ship chunks dealt with, I figured let's uh let's go behead all of these insects. Anyone? Wow. Alright, so <laughs> only one was immortal. She Tiger is now a 6.5 high immortal. But unfortunately, I think that will about wrap up this episode. I have enjoyed this episode and we've done quite a bit. Not the stuff I specifically set out to do. I'm actually going to send a spalle away now. But we did upgrade gear pretty immensely actually. Four of our people are now very heavily armored and the other ones have at least some basic armor. We also got some pretty decent weapon upgrades, especially if I'm, you know, when we level up to the next tech level. We also figured out, well, I kind of figured out um, how to use this climate, centralized climate control so we can actually like centralize climate control the entire base, which would be pretty cool. Uh, we started researching devil, or growing some devil strand. I set up a, a few solar generators. We mined out and set up the prison. All it needs is tiling now until it's fully operational. I st we started planning out, I did this off camera, but I planned out sort of, this is going to be the Rim Atomics area, and this is either going to be the reactor area for Rim Atomics, or it's going to be our Project Rim Factory. We are using Project Rim Factory, but I'm limiting it so that we can't generate in, um, infinite resources with it. We could just automate tasks with like resources from, let's say, one of our settlements. But speaking on that, um, we did level up our settlements quite a bit. Espali is level 7. I think Farborn is leveling up to a level 4 settlement right now. So overall, that's pretty great. We got a few new... Yeah, I think that's about everything. We got a few tax cycles, I think. we Yeah, we have tons of silver. All that good stuff. We also got these really cool bionics that we can't use yet. But hopefully in the future, we will be able to use them. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day and goodbye.